Hey, what's up, everyone? Mr. Stacks coming at you live on June 21st. It's about 2 p.m. Central Time, and right now we're looking at some a couple of these stocks. You know, that's kind of been in the news feed lately, as well as some other ones that had a, a lot of high volume coming in today that I've been just keeping an eye on. But as you can see, we got a torch today is up pretty high. It's at a 1,300% above its normal daily average. So we got about 340 million shares already traded on a daily average of 25 million. So this is why this stock has actually been pumping pretty hard today. As you can see on our daily chart, we've got a nice little jump here just from Friday into the open today. We've been up about you know four or five dollars here and we're pumping still pretty pretty hard coming in the closing hour of the day a couple of other stocks that we've kind of been keeping an eye on we have blackberry here uh, as you can see on the daily chart it's got a descending triangle which is a, a bullish indicator reasons why we're kind of monitoring this stock here and they also have earnings coming up on thursday and recently they've had some good news as far as some of their software that they've been uh, uh, putting out there, you know, as far as into these new electric vehicles. They actually had a, a catalyst today on, where is it at here? So you can see they had a, where is it at here? Oh, reports it's QNX software now embedded in 195 million vehicles. So that's that's pretty crazy. Here is uh, I know a lot of people. BlackBerry was a famous name, you know, a few years back, and kind of faded when Apple started, you know, taking the spotlight. And BlackBerry kind of just faded in the background. But since they've moved over to some new cyber, you know, security technology, they've actually started gaining a little more. Uh, just a little more publicity I guess you can say but this is something that's been drawing a lot more attention over the last few weeks and as I said before they do have earnings this week so we're gonna keep a, a close eye on this one here for the next few days CLNE is another stock uh, clean energy fuels that we've been uh, keeping an eye on uh, this is a an energy conversion uh, company to where they're able to convert natural or diesel gas or something like that into you know natural gas something that's real big on the on the environment right now with these emissions as far as you know things that are destroying our world but overall we're kind of just nothing crazy going on today but this is just things that we're waiting trying to get in a little early and waiting for the the actual pop workhorse is another uh, big name that's been talked in social media and uh, the reddit traders or wall street bets or whatever that forum is that they, they discuss these things and those aren't a lot of things that i'm really involved in i just kind of catch a little bit of the, the news feed here and there when i do take a peek into certain articles or something but uh, these are the four main stocks today that I'm, I've been watching. Um, three of them, as you can see, haven't really had a lot of activity. Uh, CLNE's about its at its daily average, but it's actually just peaked above it. Uh, all the other two here, they're under their daily average. Workhorse, uh, Blackberries, you can see there's not a lot going on today. But Torch Energy, like man, you can see this. Like this is just a lot going on and you can see it, it's the top of our list on our scanners taking in the most volume today at 342 million shares traded i was actually in this the other day last week and it took a drop so i decided to get out thinking like maybe the momentum had already took off so i kind of made a bad call on that one because as you can see uh, we kind of doubled up since the last time i was in but it's all right you know just trying to be patient waiting on a couple of these other these other names to pop and hopefully we can make a little money on those but these are the, the stocks to watch I think for the week so these are ones that I'm certainly gonna have in my profile and be kind of watching you know as the the days go on and hopefully we can start to see some volume increase and some momentum build up 
some other stocks that we have today uh, that's been on the radar here. AMC is always, you know, one of those stocks that everyone's talking about. This is just something I'm not real crazy about. I mean, it seems like there's too much going on in there, and I'm scared to even get in and try to chase the chase the the rally, as you can say, rather than trying to, you know. But anyways. Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, just had a message come in. <laughs> My bad. But, uh, yeah, so just kind of just certain stocks that I watch. I like to add them to my scanner. This is just a daily scanner. I just observe for a lot of popular stocks that I usually look at or like to follow or trade in and out depending on, you know, the value or the, the profit margin on those. Uh, lately I've been a little more uh, chill with a lot of my day trading a lot of things I've kind of just been observing more just because we know the market's been a little choppy lately so I don't do a lot of trading too much other than you know uh, some of these ones here that I have a few shares that I'm in some open positions but um, overall I just like to watch certain stocks that interest me and if I feel that they do have potential to make a good chunk of money then I'll try to follow them for a few days and then when I feel the time is right I'll end up you know buying in on a on a good price target but uh, overall this is what I feel are some of the main stocks people are looking at this week more of the affordable stocks I guess you can say because even me myself I don't like to pay more than like twenty dollars uh, when it comes to buying certain shares uh, I don't got all kind of millions of dollars to just throw in on stocks but um, I try to make you know some good decisions on some some good stocks that show a lot of potential or ones that we've seen before hit certain highs and we like to try to revisit those highs again if we do start to see some some volume and momentum building but yeah there's a lot of other names out here I'm sure a lot of people are interested in just some of these I've tried to play with I just haven't had any luck uh, Palantir is a good one but I'm holding these long term so these are like some of the ones that I do actually hold in my own pro, uh, portfolio that are above twenty dollars I mean everyone I feel is in interested in this company um, they always got a lot going on, a lot of different new projects, new clients, and uh, it's kind of a stabilized um, stock where we don't see a lot of volatility in the price here. It's been holding above $20 for the last few months, and we'd like to see it get back up to the $40 range, but we'll see how that goes here in the next few months also. I mean, Tesla I feel is a good stock. Uh, looking at their chart, I was checking it out the other day. And on their daily, it still looks real bullish also. They're just starting to pick back up. As you can see here, it's consolidating. And we're fixing it. I feel it's going to break up. And we'll maybe start to see some of these highs again. But these are just stocks that are really a lot more than I like to pay and I just don't see a lot of value in the upside. Uh, when it comes to me buying one share at $600, well, I can only afford, you know, like 5 to 10 shares and a percentage of my portfolio. I just don't really see a lot of potential upside in that for me. So I kind of just, I've tried playing with them, but it's really not my thing. Uh, I'm into a lot of the psychedelic stocks. 
mine made. Uh, CO is another one. There just hasn't been a lot of news, and it seems like they've been kind of draining here over the last couple of weeks. Mine meds is just kind of held, but I just kind of started to lose interest in them. Just seeing a lot of different news out there as far as changing management, leadership, and things like that. So uh, we kind of shifted into a different direction. We'll probably focus more into the clean energy and the electric vehicle field. And some of these pharmaceutical companies are things that I'm I'm interested in as well as some new technology stocks are always gambles for me that's just the way i am i take risks um i don't always you know come out ahead but that's just the way i like to play my my game but at the same time i do make uh decisions based on you know technical analysis and as well as the numbers fundamentals behind the company itself and that goes to tell me on how much I should put into a company and what kind of risks I'm taking. Uh, just going into a 223 right now. Doesn't seem like there's too much going on. Let's go back and check on Torch here. Let me it seems like a lot of the stocks are dying down a little. got wish up again today also but it's not much of a gain from the open I've seen about maybe a dollar plus on those gains uh, but just uh, a lot of volatility but yeah it seems like it's got some some volume pumping here familiar with a lot of these other ones. I don't really mess with some of these or just a little just smaller companies or just too expensive companies. These are for the big ballers. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to dive in a little bit just to kind of give you all more or less what to watch for. If you feel like you have a little bit of money to play with, uh, these are some some good some good calls I feel. But again, I'm not a financial advisor, so these are still you know buy at your own will. Uh, but BlackBerry, I've always liked BlackBerry. I was a fan of their phones and. I'm hoping their technology is going to bring to the table something new, uh, especially as we shift into this new electric air uh, workhorse. Uh, a lot of people hate on workhorse, but there's just something about it. I just feel, you know, I'm about moving into the future a little faster than everybody else, but these are just names I feel have potential in being something here in the next few years. But we'll see how these go as we monitor them. Um, see what else we got on the, on the losing side. Some of our unusual volume, actually. Let's see here. So these stocks are ones that are standing out today and they're taking on more volume than they usually do. G sets up 647 percent today, but it doesn't seem like a lot going on. So I don't like buying into a lot of these cheap stocks. Anything under like four or five bucks, they just sometimes don't really hit too high, and they gotta really be squeezed up in order for them to jump or have a lot going on inside the company where there's either growth or jumping revenue being made or just something like that rolling out new products and things like that what else we got here yeah a lot of these other names are just like I don't know I don't know a lot of these names but uh let's see some of our losers today yeah since yeah I jumped on these last week 
made a little but not enough so I kind of just sold them out or if I've been here a lot of talk about that one but it seems to be down today and some of these other names some of these cryptocurrency names after the after China cracking down on their mining there it seems like a lot of that bad publicity is causing the crypto market to kind of take a dive which I'm looking at my investments there kind of like uh oh but I'm holding for the long term you know I'm all about the future like I said and I see that these things are gonna change the world in a lot of ways so I'm just holding sitting patient hoping eventually we'll start to see some profits there as well Last week, but you can tell they're all down. It's usually how it works, though. Just cycle and rotate. Also, bam, as you can tell, it hit my perfect timing. What do they have going on today? Hmm. Yeah, some of these catalysts are crazy, huh? they just start to get stocks to pump like that. Still jumping like that. Moxian. I don't even know what Moxian is. Retail apparel, crazy. And everybody going back to the stores, starting to rip it up. It's really pumping though. Look at that. Two thirty now. Thirty minutes to the closing bill. Still nothing going on in Blackberry, but I'm thinking tomorrow we'll have a good day. You can see a lot of resistance here, even though we're in the red from the open. 
open. You can tell we hit a low, we're already pushing back up, but we kind of started going sideways. Maybe under the closing hours, though, we do start to see it climb up a little more. So we'll see where that where that goes. Sale and knees kind of been going sideways too, but it's all right. Maybe we'll get back up there. Just being patient. Got highs of you know, these are all targets here. I wouldn't doubt this hit this here the next day, probably break that the next day or two. Just by the way that it looks. There's the weekly. Just look at that. Let's go home. Perfect trend. to the close, we're at 236. It's 
Still nothing else really going on as of yet. This is A. Let's look at this one real quick here. This one's hitting the 50 day. This might be actually a good time to buy in here. Wait, this is a 30 minute. broke out. Uh, this is just be a little float stop. They're attacking here. Just to try to pump it up. Which they are doing. It's up about three to four dollars today. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Elf. Down a little bit. Let's look at this chart. Yeah, hit a high, I came back down. I mean, not a high, high, but um, it's not too appealing to me. Ears. Uh, it's kind of been consolidating here. It tries to break this level, but it doesn't seem to be successful. It's kind of a key level to watch right there. We're at 356. But it's about that level right here. But it needs to break above it and stay above it. So I would look for our daily to close above it and buy in. You can 
see it's on an uptrend on the 200 day but it's kind of been going sideways here on our 50 day average Draw a line though. Oh. Anyway, you can draw a line here. Still got, we can still go sideways a little ways. Before it actually breaks through it. But it's actually about that time though, more or less. Yeah, a lot of these other names aren't real big names for me. And a lot you see moving a lot here on the, the news feed but yeah there's not a big interest to me really now let's go back here Trying to break through here a little bit. Ah, right, yeah. Well, this is just a quick little breakthrough. Somebody stop. Just trying to update y'all, give y'all a little, little information on what I feel. Maybe you know, up here in the next few days. Sometimes when I catch them early, I think this is a good time to jump in some of these names. Um, you know, always do your own homework, your own analysis, your research. <coughs> always know what you're investing in before you just throw your money in there but these are just names I've been watching following their patterns and with the short uh, short interest percentage high I feel like these ones have a lot of room to to squeeze up some of them have quarterly earnings coming out and I feel like I'm gonna get some money, you know. These are some good names, so check them out, y'all. But Mr. Stacks here, we'll speak with y'all again shortly. Uh, invest smartly, and we'll talk to y'all soon. All right.